Hey, hello, and uh, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I don't know what I'm doing, but you know, it's uh, me in a nutshell. So, I was tagged by Kelly of Books I'm Not Reading to do the Honest Booktuber tag. Um, I believe the tag was created by a Harriet Rosie, if I am reading this thing correctly. Um, all the links will be down below, so hopefully that will be correct. If I'm not, please correct me and I can, I can correct it later. Not in the video, but in the description at least. Yeah, yeah. So, I made myself a cup of tea. Um, because it just seems like the thing to have when you do tags or something. So, oh yeah. So, let's just dive right into the questions and we shall see uh, if I am an honest booktuber. I don't know. What? I, I, is that the point of the tag? I don't know. Let's just dive into the questions and see what kind of answers will pop out of my mouth because that's just how I roll with these things. I I copy out the the the, the tags, the questions, and then I try to answer them on the spot. Sometimes that works. Sometimes it takes a long time for me to think of an answer. Sometimes not. Sometimes yes. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not. I'm just waffling now. I'm just waffling. Let's just do the tag. Yes. So, um, question number one, have you ever lied about reading a book? So, <laughs> there's like two answers for this one. Um, on booktube and my general day-to-day -day life, no, I have not lied about reading a book. However, um, when it, I was at school and there was that you need to read this book kind of thing. I didn't always read the book. No. Um, I, I said I did, but I did not. So there's two answers to that question. <laughs> um, yes in school, no and everywhere else. <laughs> question number two. Have you ever avoided a book because of controversy around the content or author? So, how to answer this correctly? So, I don't really keep track of all the controversy surrounding um, authors, first of all. Uh, I know of some, but then also some of the authors that's like, has some controversy things, um, sometimes they're not controversy authors anymore and it goes back and forth and I can't keep track. Some yes, some no to that question. Um, to that question, to, to, anyway. Um, and I don't always know the content in the book. Um, I very rarely know of the book's content before I've read the book. Um, saying all of that, there are authors whose books, <laughs> I'm being very specific, I'm, I'm, there's one specific author whose books I kind of love, because uh, I grew up with them, and uh, they've helped me through times in my times, <laughs> they've helped me through times in my teens where I couldn't really have survived the same way had it not been for those books. Um, but also, I mean, had there been other books similar or anything like that, possibly I would have gravitated towards those, but those books in particular, um, they helped me through a lot in my teens and early, early adulthood. <laughs> Um, so they, they've come to mean something for me, but I do try to not talk about them on this channel, uh, or really online anywhere, um, because of the author and the controversy around said author. I hope 
you can kind of guess. And I will say two words that will explain what series I'm talking about. Boy, wizard, that's the one. Um, so yeah, I don't talk about them anymore. Um, I wish I could, but because of the controversy there, I don't. It's sad when you have to edit yourself like that because of some controversy that a, a author is all over. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even gonna go into that because it's it's a whole thing, but I've talked enough about it, I feel. Um, <laughs> so, question number three. Have you ever been sent a book for free and not disclosed it? So, I've never been sent from like publishers and stuff like that. Um, the only time I've been sent a book and not specifically said who it was from was, um, so I've gotten like Amazon parcels with my name and address on the parcel. I didn't order it, but it's there and it came to my house and it was a book on my wish list so my guess is it uh, someone bought said book on my wish list and it ended up in my house but there was no note so i can thank whoever i did uh however at the time i've been like thank you to anonymous whoever you are thank you <laughs> um there's not many there's not much else i can do um, if there's no note and no one says anything, yeah, um, but no, um, I, I think whether I've been gifted a book by a friend or whatever, um, I, I think I say every time, I'm pretty sure, but no, I've not been sending anything from publishers, but publishers, if you want to send me stuff, I'm right here, um, I'm broke, so books, free books would be very helpful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this has been my TED talk. <sighs> yeah, okay. Question number four. Have you ever bought a book with no intention of reading it? Uh, not for myself. So it's got to be like if I bought a book for a friend that either wasn't like my kind of tea, my kind of cup of tea, or I'd already read it. And I'm just gifting a book. That's the only time I've ever bought a book and not intended to read said book. Um, otherwise, no. Um, I guess if I were to buy a, you know, super expensive, like, <laughs> um, <laughs> special edition of a book, I may not read in that particular edition of the book because it's super expensive and. I want to keep it pristine. Um, I guess that would be the time I would buy uh, a book and not intend to actually read that book. But if that were the case, I would have another copy of the book that I could read. So I guess then. But so far, no. Only gifts to friends. Uh, question number five. Have you ever got caught up in booktube drama? If I have, I'm very unaware of it. So I'm gonna say no. I'm pretty sure if I were in some booktube drama, I would get so much hate from somewhere. So yeah, no. <laughs> Question number six. Have you ever had a hate comment and did you respond? So not on my own channel. And if I did get a hate comment, I would just delete it because nobody needs that negativity in their life. Um, saying that though, I have, when I've commented on other people's channels and videos, uh, I have gotten like hate comments and weird comments following my comment. And at the end of the day, I'd been like, you know what, nah. So I've just deleted my comment. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to spread that negativity whether or not it all those extra comments would actually boost the algorithm for who whosever video that it was I'm, I'm sure they wouldn't like that negativity either unless they're just greedy and you know what views then I guess but <laughs> I don't know I just delete it 
because yeah nah nah I'm not here for it. Question number seven. Have you ever made a video just because you knew it would get views? Any video that has been a like popular topic, say like booktube newbie tag or any of any of those kind of videos that you know you've seen other people get like not a million but a million views, uh lots of views and all that. Uh if I've done those kinds of videos, I've not expected to get those kinds of numbers. Um, sure, I've hoped for some some more numbers uh, than maybe my normal kind of numbers. We don't do videos on here just to have nobody watch them. We do like all of us. I'm speaking for every creator on this platform who puts up a video we want the video to get views so yes hoping knowing though no i've not known that the video would get views so i've not done anything for that sense and any other video i don't think i've done a video per se that i thought would you know this is a topic that's just gonna blow up i don't think so and if I have, um, obviously that video has uh, failed because none of my videos have skyrocketed views. No, so obviously it failed if I, I did that. <laughs> Question number eight. If you could go back to the beginning of your channel, would you do anything differently? So, the first thing I would do is start my channel when I first <laughs> intended to start a channel which is a couple of years earlier than I actually did um, instead of going those years I think it was like 2016 I did my I started my first like YouTube account um, and I intended to start posting videos and even before that I'd been like oh I want to do this too I want to chat um, but 2016 I actually made an account not this one a different one um, but then I never actually did anything with it I did kind of post uh, I think I did like a book tour video just to see if I could do it um, It was crap. I'm not gonna lie. It was a super crap because uh, my laptop at the time was even more crap than the one I have now <laughs> um, so Yeah uh, Everything was bad about it, but I did make a a video Terrible video, but a video. I'm not featured in it. It's just going through my bookshelves um, as they were looking at the time yeah so one I would start earlier <laughs> maybe even before 2016 if I could have you know stopped making excuses to not do it and just do it because that's the first thing you if you want to do it just do it and then you're just gonna have to keep pushing to continue on going as it were um so yes first thing i would start earlier second thing i would have plotted out some more like video ideas and stuff to start with and maybe um when i first started my channel i would have posted like say five videos to like like in one go to just introduce myself and then do like the booktube newbie tag if that was uh if it was books <laughs> if it was a book related channel and you know hope for the best but yeah um, starting earlier and plotting and planning videos that I would want to do uh, because that's something that I know has helped me create videos now so I have a lot of ideas of videos I want to do I've not <laughs> actually done any of them yet but I have them I have the ideas uh, so sitting down and like plotting and planning on which which videos I'm actually gonna upload it kind of depends on what books I've been reading because I'm a mood reader so I just read whatever whenever right now I'm kind of doing the videos in a very different way and from what I have been doing um, which is basically I've been reading a bunch of books 
doing a short little clip of said book when I finished it or if it's been like a middle of the book kind of update thing uh, so <laughs> I, ha I have already put out some videos like this but I have loads more clip to edit <laughs> Um, because <laughs> that's basically what I spend my June and July doing, um, reading and just making very short clips or short-ish clips of book updates. And now I need to figure out how to put them together for a video. And um, I don't know if this is a good way or not yet. We'll see. Um... We'll see. We'll see. Question number nine. Are there any channels you wish you could be more like? Um, not necessarily be like the channels, but some people on some channels. I, yeah, I kind of want to be more, more like them. More, as in more confident, more well-spoken. Definitely more well-spoken, like... When I try to explain things, it doesn't really come out the way I think in my brain. It comes out very weirdly most of the time and I would like to be more... I would like to sound smarter. So yeah, that, that thing. But as that has not happened yet in my life, I highly doubt that's gonna happen, you know, in the coming future. Yeah, no. Um, I think I'm just that a bit chaotic, a bit stupid at times, and just waffling kind of person. Yeah, I don't take myself too... So I don't take myself too seriously, um, <laughs> which I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing sometimes, but yeah. Yeah, that, there's that. There's that. Um, uh, let's see, I think this is the last question. So question number 10, what's something you love about your channel? So, um, I love that the fact that I have a channel, this platform here, to just be my crazy ass self. <laughs> a bit chaotic, a bit crazy, a bit... I don't know what, but I can have my little creative outlets of just waffling on about torture nonsense and most people will not judge me for it because a lot of people are like this as well it's just that it comes out differently from person to person um, I just like that it's given me this creative outlet where I can just talk about books in this case because in my like in my real life <laughs> the people I know the people around me they they may read every now and again but it's like one book a year if I'm lucky so me reading even if I just read one book a week I read more than that, but say even if I just read one book a week, if I were to go to these people who read like one book a year, which is fine, it's completely fine, reading is reading, even if you don't read, that's fine too, but for someone who reads, say one book a week, going to someone who reads one book a year and trying to talk to that person about the book that you just may be very, very excited about, but that person hasn't read the book so it's like a very one-sided kind of conversation I mean I guess this is one-sided too but in this case um, when I'm talking I'm talking to the camera putting it out online for anyone to see uh, if they wanna <laughs> I'm not gonna force anyone but it's there I had my little don't you just love it when the camera turns itself off Anyway, so the video, the, my chatting, it's just there. I've had my little burst of <laughs> waffling, mostly, and waffling complete nonsense for the most time. But I've had that outlet, so I'm, I'm good. I'm feeling good about it. But doing that same thing to, like, a person in front of you and they're like, 
I don't know what you're talking about. Um, can we just go talk about something else? This is, this is boring. Um, <laughs> it's a completely different kind of thing. So in the physical sense, um, you, you'll get that straight reaction from someone and being like, oh, I'm sorry I'm boring you. <laughs> Let's just do something else. Let's talk about you for a minute. Um, whereas when I'm waffling to the camera like this, um, yeah, I'm not getting that same straight reaction like, you're an idiot. <laughs> I do get that when I edit. Yeah, I call, I call myself the, the idiot. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, I've been waffling so much for this video. My tea has now gone cold, so I'm not going to drink that because blah. Um, <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, Kelly, for tagging me for this tag. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I don't know who to tag, so... Tag your it. It's a cop out. Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll see if I can put some names in the description. And you know, if I if I tag you down there, you don't have to do it. But if you wanna, it's there. So yeah, there we go. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Bye bye.